Hi guys, my name is Alan Tobin. I'm Ireland's first Webflow partner and I've been building websites on Webflow since 2018. Prior to that, I was a front-end developer. So I'm just going to show you this one annoying issue that I keep seeing on some of the best designed Webflow web websites in the world. So it's this horizontal overflow scroll issue. You can see just scrolling between the two sections, we've got this annoying little bar down here, and it's just providing a pretty poor user experience. It's not necessary, and it's really, really easy to fix. So what have we got? We've got two sections, and we're scrolling between them. They're taking up the whole width of the page and the height of the page. So we're going to go back into Webflow and I'll show you what it is, how I've got these sections set up. So back here in Webflow, you see that I've got a width of 100 VW and a height of 100 VW. And what's that do? what is that is doing is the width is taking up the full viewport width of the screen and the height is taking up the viewport height. And we I see this a lot in Webflow web, websites. And why is this a problem? So the reason it's a problem is that in Webflow, when you're developing here in the designer and you're building out all these sections, everything looks fine. And then when we go into the preview, again, everything looks fine. There's no issue. We're not seeing this overflow issue. But then when I publish and we go over to here, we're seeing this issue. Now, what's going on here? So what's going on is that the viewport width sometimes includes the side um, scroll. So sometimes, depending on your device that you're using, this bar here will be included in the viewport, and other times it will be overlaid on the viewport. Now, what are the devices that normally you'd see it overlaid? Apple devices, MacBook Pros. What do designers normally build with and design with? MacBook Pros. What do developers, a lot of developers build with? They develop with more PCs. So this is why I'm seeing it. We're seeing a lot of designers making this mistake because they're not seeing it and they don't know that this is an issue. So there's a couple of, the, the good thing is that it's a really simple fix. Even and um, all we need to do, first of all, is we can change this here to auto. Oh, bit of an issue here. Uh, change it to auto, and everything is taken up the full, again, the full width of the screen. So the difference between auto and viewport width is that auto takes over what is remaining of the screen, provided that uh, its parent is. Um, there's no styles added to the parent, like flex or grid. So you can see here that with a width of auto, we're taking up the full width of the screen, but it's not taking up the width in, um, of the bar. So this bar here is a part of the screen. When we scroll down, everything is fine. We can also fix this with, um, so go back into the section, we can also use 100%. Now, why is 100% important? So if you can, if you remember there a few seconds ago when I took off the viewport width, I had a style added to the body. So I just called this style body flex. And you can see here that it's a vertical flex direction aligned to the right. So we just might need that depending on what we're trying to do. But now you can see that the auto is pulled. Everything is pulled towards the, um, everything is pulled over to the start of the website. So what, we, how we can fix that is by adding 100%. We can also fix it by adding viewport. Now, herein lies our problem. If we're using a, a, a flex styling plus a viewport, we're going to get that horizontal scroll issue. So now if we put it in 100%, we publish. It's all published, yeah. Refresh, and we don't have it. So it's a simple fix. If we start using viewport, swap viewport uh, width for percentages. 
Now, another way, we'll just explain a little bit more about what's going on here. So when, um, I'm just going to show another example, when we use how we can use viewport width. So if we use viewport width here, and I'm just going to hide this other section and publish. <coughs> Now, we don't have any scroll bars. We've nothing scrolling. We've got just one section that's 100 VH uh, by 100 VW, and we don't have any issues here. So this issue using the 100 VW only happens when we, um, when we have a scroll. So when we scroll from one section to the next. So we can use 100 VW and uh, when we're when we don't have any scroll so if you're doing a pop-up or an overlay like an interaction that's taking up the whole of the screen but if you're trying to use it for sections it's i wouldn't advise doing it because we're going to have that little overlay so we would see here i'm going to get back show this we've now got two sections we can't see it here in webflow there's no issues but we publish and we're back now we see the when we've got the two sections, the scroll bar is um, added to the viewport. So now we've got 100 viewport plus the scroll bar. And that's why we have that extra uh, extra area there. Our extra, that, yeah, that extra area in the website that's providing us with this horizontal scroll issue. So that's it, guys. Really simple fix change width from VW to percentages. It'll increase the user experience of your website. It'll increase the performance of your website. It'll make those awesome websites that all these amazing Webflow designers are building and look exactly how they're meant to look. Um, I get so much design envy looking at some of the stuff that's been built and designed out there. It's absolutely amazing. I love the world of Webflow and what people are doing. If there's any uh, designers out there, agencies that are looking to collaborate with a developer, give me a shout, uh, send me a DM on Twitter. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can make some amazing websites together. Okay, bye.